Hey guys, welcome back to Sippin' Tea with TJ. I hope you guys had an amazing day. All right guys, so today we're gonna get into my jazzy life. I have not done a video on jazzy life in I guess a few days because baby, the shit going down in Liv's life, whoo, yeah. Anyway guys, so, firstly, Miss Jazz did a sponsorship, right? So the sponsorship was Flower Power. Hmm. Okay, so Flower Power, y'all. I'm sure y'all probably seen the damn video. It's a vaginal suppository. And I guess it's supposed to help with odor, discharge, you know, things of that nature. But girl, you're pregnant. And you did a sponsorship for a vaginal suppository? Hmm. Girlfriend should have turned that damn sponsorship down. Because we know she did not use that. You're pregnant. I'm sure that you did not consult your doctor about that. Because you didn't use the suppository. So, I mean, I know it's all about the coins. But some things like, sis... Look, I ain't doing no sponsorship with nobody. And I'm like, yeah, I use this product and it works great. No, because I want my people to know I ain't going to come on here and lie to you and say, yeah, this is good. And then they use it and the shit ain't right. So, nah, I would never, ever, ever pay Jazz to promote any goddamn thing for me. I don't want a goddamn prom uh, promo. I don't want you to fucking advertise my product. I don't believe half the shit that come out your mouth. Like, tell me what you guys think. Do you really think she, she used that? Hell no, she didn't use that shit. Like I said, she is pregnant. She's not going to stick no damn vaginal suppository up her vagina. No, she didn't. They agreed to pay her some coins. She agreed to do the shit. Like, girl, don't nobody believe what you say. I would never, ever trust a product that you came on here to promote. No, baby. So let's talk about her cleaning video. Yo, that was the most bullshit ass cleaning video I have ever seen on YouTube. She pretty much used a half a container of wipes. I don't know if they was like Clorox wipes or whatever the fuck it was. She used those wipes to clean like half the damn house. Like, sis, you just moved into... A home that other people lived in prior to you moving in. This ain't no damn wipe down. You need to deep clean this shit. Not use no damn wipes and wipe the counter and wipe. No, you need to deep clean this shit because somebody else lived in this damn house before you did. I don't know. Jazz is just not believable anymore. The shit that come out of her mouth. It's just like you like girl sis. You don't even do a good job of trying to make somebody think that you're telling the truth. Like, she was spraying, like, some type of Lysol shit on the damn tile floor. Girl, you're going to break your fucking neck. Keep spraying that shit on the damn floor. If she didn't have all the supplies she needed to clean, you know what? No, scratch that. If she wanted to do a cleaning video and she knew... Like, hey, I don't have everything that I really want to have in this video. Maybe you should have just did the damn cleaning without even recording it. But since you moved into this house, baby, your video has been coming out. They've been, I mean, they've been back to back. They've been consistent. So I get it. You're trying to make that coin. So you're going to post <laughs> any and everything. So in the cleaning video, I think she was starting to clean up the kitchen sink. She goes into talking about, it was like a voiceover. So she goes in to talk about how um, the kids were really, really scared about the fireworks because they're not used to those type of fireworks. And I'm like, sis, this is a cleaning video. We don't really give a fuck what you're talking about, about the fireworks. Post that shit on your damn vlog channel. Like, we don't, th this is really supposed to be. A cleaning video are we really here to get motivation from your ass cleaning hell no nah. but i'm just saying the people that really fuck with you like that they don't want to hear shit about the fireworks this is just a cleaning video okay so she went live i believe it was yesterday night and um you can hear aiden in the background calling her mama 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 
So she kept telling Aiden to open the door. Open the door. You know how to open the door. I don't know why he's not trying to open the door. He knows how to open the door. Hmm. So now I'm just assuming that she's still pretty much closing the kids up in the room. You have twins. Three-year-old twins. You cannot close them up in the room and not think they're not going to get into shit. That is why they destroying shit. That is why they breaking TVs. That is why they writing on the walls. That is why the shit is a mess. Because you lock them in the room or close them. I'm not even going to say lock like she locks the door. But you close them in the room and leave them there without supervision and wonder why the fuck they fucking shit up. Like, girl, sis. So during the live, as Aiden was still in the damn room trying to get out, she says to Caitlin, can you put the twins' plates down first? So as time was going on, she eventually gets Aiden out of the damn room. And then you hear Caden in the background getting a little loud. So Jazz gets upset, like, what are you fussing at her for? What are you getting yell you loud at her for? Talking about that Caden was getting loud with Amaya. So Caden pretty much says, well, she was trying to get my food. She was trying to get my food. And Jazz like, well, it's enough food. She was like, no, mom, she was trying to get my food. Well, I'm on a live and that's not going to, girl, cut it out. She's only playing the role that you gave her. She's playing the mommy role. You told her to set out the place for the twins. So she was telling the twins, this is your seat and this is your seat. And then when Amaya came up, this is your seat. So she's only playing that mommy role. And she felt that comfortable in front of you. To, to get loud with her, that's not the first time she did that. You were only upset with her because you were on live and you didn't want everybody to hear her get loud with Amaya. But she's playing that mommy role that you gave her. Don't get me wrong, guys. Yes, you teach kids at a young age to pick up after themselves, to pitch in, to clean. I get all of that. But at eight years old, she's giving that girl too much to do. She shouldn't be cleaning toilets. She shouldn't have to be looking after her sisters and brothers. She's eight. She needs to be a child. She did not lay down and have those babies. You did. So it's not her responsibility to be a parent to those kids. So sis got a whole office. So after she gave the kids their food, she said she wanted to go sit down. Where did sis go sit down at? In the damn bathroom. She goes in the bathroom, sits down, and props us up. Why the fuck are we in the bathroom? You have a whole office that you are so goddamn excited about. You have an office where you decided to put Amaya in the room with the twins. So you could have an office. And now you on live, you got us propped up in the fucking bathroom? Hmm. Who else does that? Hmm. Chrissy? Oh. I'm just saying. So while the girl was in the bathroom talking to us on live or talking to her people on live, you hear the twin or one of the twins seem like they crying out. Of course, she didn't get her ass up. And she goes on to say that once they're done eating, they're going to bed. Everybody's going to bed because she's just so tired. It's been a long day. They've been doing the most throughout the day. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> ah! Get ready because you're about to have baby number five. What the fuck you think is going to happen then? So now you got two twins running around whining and crying and looking for your attention. Now you have this baby who needs your attention. And then you have the two older girls who also need your attention. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so another thing y'all so sis been pumping out all these videos I give it to her she been real consistent yep cause she trying to make the money so she can pay for this nice beautiful house right cause she said she gonna start posting 5 days a week I get it okay that's what's up but sis you have not said shit about mama dukes Nothing. I have not heard you say anything about Mama Dukes. Mama Dukes had spinal surgery 
what, a few days ago, a week ago, and you have not said shit. Oh, my mom came out of the surgery good. She's doing okay. Her boyfriend's there to make sure she's okay. I went to go visit her. I went to go get her some grocery. You have not said shit. I understand you just moved into a house. I understand you got a man. I understand you have four kids. But that's mama. And nothing should come in the way of that. I don't give a damn if you have to drag all of your kids over there to make sure she's okay. Then that's what you do. But you have not mentioned shit about Mama Dukes. Like, I'm what? Ooh, child. Anyway, guys, I think I've touched on everything I want to touch on in this video. Don't forget to comment down below so we can talk about it, sip about it, speak about it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.